Cal? What are you doing here so early? My mama wanted to talk to you. She did? Is anything the matter? I don't know. Hmm. Well, let's go see. Mommy would like to talk to Peter alone. So could you go in the clubhouse and change? Okay, see you later, Peter. Bye. Have, uh... Have I done something wrong, Mrs. Young? No. Why? Oh, I know. It's because I asked to speak to you alone. It's, um, a personal matter. Do you mind? Heck no. I'm glad I just didn't do anything to get you mad. <laughs> Peter, do you know about the Oil Baron's Ball? Sure. I mean, I know of it. I mean, everybody in Dallas does. It's the largest charity affair of the year. And it's very important to the Ewings. And I was just wondering if uh, you would like to go with us this year. I don't understand. You, you want me to go to the ball with you? Well, actually, it's with my niece, Lucy. She's had a very difficult time lately, and uh, she didn't want to go. So I promised her a very charming escort. She agreed. Well, I don't know. I mean, I've never met her or anything. And she's a very sweet and beautiful young lady. Peter, I would never take advantage of our friendship, but I had hoped that uh, if I asked you, you would agree to take her. Well, I mean, for you, sure. But... I wouldn't know anybody there, and I think I'll really be out of place. No, you won't. No, we'll all be sitting together. If there are any rough spots, I'll be right next to you to smooth them over. Besides, uh, I really can't think of a place that you wouldn't fit in just perfectly. I don't... I only have one suit, and it's not even dark. Does that matter? Well, it is formal, but... Uh, here's the address of my husband's tailor. If you'll be so kind as to stop by for a fitting, he promised me he'd have a tuxedo ready for you in time. Uh, I told him to expect you. Pretty sure I was going to say yes, weren't you? <laughs> I just uh, thought you'd understand the problem. I do owe you a favor. So you do. Well... Here's the oil bearer's ball.